Welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to choose some CSS skills. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to change the background color. So right here, you see, I have this header and it's easy. You can go inside of the head tag and inside of the head tag, you can basically use the style tag. So you see, I have used the style tag and I can say header to select that element and open two color braces. I can say background color and you can choose whatever color you want. So I'm going to choose something from the left. So I'm going to go with dark slight blue and we have changed the background color of that specific element. However, you see now I have this paragraph. All right, this is I'm some text and you can see it. So let's say that we have two paragraphs. What if I ask you to change the background color only of the second paragraph. So you should use the class attribute. So you can name it anything you want. So I'm going to say, for example, my red, oops, what did I do? Sorry. So I'm going to say my red para, all right? My red para. And I'm going to use a selector to select that specific element inside of the CSS. So you see, this is the style tag and I'm still inside of it. So I have to go here and simply type in dot my red para and open two color braces. I'm going to say background color, let's say red. So you see, we have only added the background color to that second paragraph and we have given it a name. So now what if I tell you, okay, I want the first one to be red. If you want to change the background color of the first paragraph to the same one, this one to red, all you have to do is you copy the same class name and you paste it here. So you see it has the same class name. So now we have added the same class to a different element. And you can add this element, this class name to anything. For example, you can add it to this age one element and you see it will be applied to that age one element. So this is how you reuse the class element basically. So now let me just uh, undo this a little bit. All right, I'm going to keep this here. So I'm going to keep the header there. All right, so I'm going to keep the header there. Now, let's say that you want to change the color of the text. So you see it says hello world. And let's say that we want to uh, change that to white. So to do that, you just use this. So you say color colon, and then you type in white. And as you notice, this is how you change the text color basically. So you just type in color and then followed by the color. And that's how you do that. Now let's say that we want to align this text center. So we have that selected already, all right? I'm going to say text dash align center. So by default, it's, it's aligned to the left, all right? So this is, is by default left, but you can change it to center. So, so center it will be centered now. So you see my par my H1 element is centered. Now, if you want to place it at the right, you can say basically right. All right, so you see my text will be aligned to the right. Now, let's say that we want to change the color of this text when we hover our mouse over it. So to do that, what you'll need to do is you'll need to select the same thing, so header, and then you say colon, hover, and open to curly braces. So this means when we hover over this element, do something. So I'm going to change the color to green, yellow. And now if, when I hover it, you see it will change the color to that specific color that you add, all right? So you see when I hover it, it changes the color and this will help you when you design a navigation this property will be useful so try to learn it so you just use the same selector you add 
colon, and then hover. Now let's see when I hover over this first paragraph, I want to change the background. So to do that, I'm going to that specific paragraph. I can give it a class name. So I can name it anything I want. So I'm going to name it para one. All right. So para one or paragraph one. And now I'm going to inside of the style tag, I'm going to dot para one and I'm going to open two curly braces. And now uh, let's change the background color of it. So let me just change it to orange red. So I have that there. And now let's see when I hover over this, I want to change the text color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say dot arrow one colon hover and open two curly braces. So right here, I can do some change here. So let me change the color to blue. All right. So now when I hover it, you see it changes the text color to blue. So this is one more skill that you should work on and learn. Now, if you want to change the color of the background of your web page, you can select the body tag because you see right here, the body tag is what includes all of your web content. So all of your web content should be placed inside of the body tag. So you see, I have all of my web content here. I know it's not much, but it should be placed inside of this tag. So this is the opening tag and this is the end of the body tag and everything else is placed here. So everything that you see on the web page is placed inside of the body tag. So we are going to select that body. So I'm going to type in body and uh, background color. So let me change it to orange. So you see, we have changed the background color of the web page. So this is how you basically do that. Let's say that we have a button. So I'm going to add a button right here. So I'm going to say button. That says uh, do something. So do something. All right. So this is the text of the bottom. It says to do something. When I hover it, you see nothing happens. It's a good idea to give it a class. I'll call it my button. So let's select that. I'm going to say dot my button. Colon hover. Open to curly braces. And uh, we can change the background color to something else. So let me go with, uh, with Azure. So now when I hover it, you see it changes the background color. And uh, let's change the font size. So I'm going to say font dash size. And I can say 20 pixels. So now when I hover it, you see it changes the size as I hover it. So you see. You see how nicely it comes back and when I move the mouse out, it goes back to its place. So this is how you basically add some uh, interactivity to your web page without using JavaScript. These were some skills that I wanted to show you about CSS. And I know this is, you know, these are some sample CSS tips that I wanted to share it with you all. Is there something else that you want to know? Let me know in the comments and I will make a video for you. You can request something uh, if you want to learn something new or something different. Please let me know in the comments and I will see you all in the next videos, everyone. Thanks for watching as always and I'll see you all later.